So, um, hello uh, everyone. My name is Alex, and uh, here I should have uh, asked uh, for your apology. Apologize for because uh, my one of my friends. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, of course, of course. Thank you. So uh, here I would like to ask uh, for your apology because uh, right now I'm waiting for one of my friends. She just texted me like five minutes ago, probably. <laughs> she just, uh, you know, ladies are like, when ladies come later, it's always for purpose, you know. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, she's here? Okay, okay. Hi, here we go, here we go. So it's uh, pretty on time. <laughs> That's wonderful. I just was about to say that uh, when uh, ladies, you know, when they uh, come later, it's always like, ah, it's for purpose, you know. Mm. But if we guys do this, like, where have you been? What did you do? What's the time about? Yeah? So it's always, uh, we just uh, screwed up. If we do, not ladies. So, uh, tonight um, I was going to tell you some stories or a story and, uh, you know, tonight it is uh, my obviously first time. Wow, first time. <laughs> I would say that probably some of you would think, oh, maybe, maybe it's this guy, I don't know his name, or maybe one of these two guys, I also don't know your names yet. So, you might think, oh, my first time was like crap. Oh my god, like what is my time? first time? Oh. Or another persons or ladies might think, well, actually my first time wasn't so bad. So um I could tell you that um my first time was just two minutes. <laughs> so um yeah. Um, first bad. time when I was brushing my teeth, first time when I saw brushing my teeth, it took me just two minutes. <laughs> so um, today I would like to tell you about, uh, you know, words. That's what we communicate every single day in our life. We use the words, but today, fortunately and luckily, not today, but nowadays we use we have and we use technologies, yeah? Thanks to Steven Jobs, thanks to Steven Wozniak and another Stevens, I'm pretty sure, and Michaels and uh, Jeremy's and of course Shannon's and Emily's and all those folks who do this great job, the amazing job and you know, they make a lot of money using us, yeah, using us through these devices because we pay for this, we buy this and we so happy like oh look i have like eye babe excuse me what do you have i have an eye babe ah you probably talking about iphone yeah but you know it's like maybe it would be eye babe sometime later <laughs> so um have you ever thought like which of you have ever thought about uh, those important words which you use every day in your life because you know uh, According to science, no matter how many words you say per day, every single day in your life, it's only few words, maybe some words or phrases. They just, you know, we focus on them and we remember them. And uh, why? Because it's us. It's our nature, you know. It's just what we human beings do. So I would like to tell you about... Um, is some words you know for example we all love traveling yeah all, almost of us we love traveling we love uh, explore cities uh, places where we've been living for example Roslov why not we also love discovering new things we love meeting new people why not yeah because it's fantastic it's extremely it's extremely uh, fascinating and also uh, wonderful that's what we love. And of course, uh, also, couch potatoes, they, they love it. Yeah, couch potatoes, they love it, really, obviously. They love it doing, uh, sitting, you know, uh, in front of their uh, TVs. They love traveling, yeah, sitting in front of their TVs or computers. They love doing like this. 
So, um, uh, yesterday I met uh, two fantastic folks from here, from Rosslau, from Poland. And uh, one of them, uh, there's uh, Kasia and uh, Mateusz. So Mateusz told me, uh, how would you describe, just by one word, just by one word, uh, pretty girl in Sweden? But I guess he traveled and uh, he's been to Sweden, but I don't know how long time and when it happened. But how would you describe just by one word, pretty girl in Sweden? I was like, wow, like, I don't know. I have no clue how I would describe. And then he says, a tourist. <laughs> the prettiest girl, pretty girl in Sweden. The right answer is tourist. <laughs> just one word. So um, if you ask me, because I have been here for uh, 18 months, at the moment, and if you ask me, like, ah, oh, like, obviously some folks ask me how you like Poland, why you chose Poland, and uh, was a, one of the uh, questions Poles ask you, you know, when they see you first time. Yeah, I could tell that it's actually, uh, I think it's a five words for now. So they usually ask me, no, it's not even asking you, asking me. They, it's, even more like, you know, statement. So some folks, when they see me first time, they approach and they like kind of ask or state, they say, ah, you're from China, right? Yeah? Yeah, like, you're from China, right? So I especially like this moment when they like approach and, hi, you're from China, right? It's like, I knew that. You just need to, you know, kind of wink. You're from China. You're are from China, right? It's just the five words. And I'm like, sorry, I'm not. And they're like, really? You're not? Wow, how is possible? How is possible? So, um, telling about this, also I would like to tell you, um, you know, if I don't mention about uh, ladies, some of us, I think, uh, some of you, I think, uh, wouldn't forgive me. So let me drop some, let's say, 50 cents about ladies. Uh, you know, uh, how would you say, or what would you say using just three words about ladies? What would you think? What would be your best uh, expression, your best opinion, or your best, let's say, wish, or whatever. What would you say using just three words about ladies? Well, obviously, I might say, I like girls. Yeah? Just three words. Or, I like ladies. Also, three words. That's simple. That's, it's awesome. So, but it's like, you know, in general, but if you want to be specifically, you could say, oh, just the three words, you could say, pretty German ladies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, we should, I think, really not just pay attention to what we say, uh, despite the fact that we usually communicate with each other by social networks, by messengers, by textings, by sending mails, and whatever. It looks like that our everyday, you know, meeting and also kind of uh, conversations, like, like, for example, like right now, like live conversation, usually just like seem, and you know, it's about some really just like few words, maybe some few phrases, really. It's kind of, I don't know how it happened, maybe because of uh, technologies or maybe because of what happened, but, you know, it's a, it's a great, it's a good, or maybe some point, maybe it also some, it could be poor. So, um, at some point, it's also about expression, you know, impression, also about impression. I would like to tell that, uh, for example, in two years ago, my first impression because I attended University of Roslov. It was my master's degree, and it was, uh, as I remember, 4th October. It was my first time meeting with a professor, 
my university. And uh, it turned out that he was uh, also my program coordinator. So it was a meeting. I met, I saw my classmates, my buddies first time. So, and some of them were late, actually. But it's already started meeting. And professor, he had like kind of list of uh, our students. Uh, as his students, right, like of us, least of us. So he read, like, uh, for example, let's say, like, let's say, uh, Mateusz Wojtanowski, yeah, he asked, and that guy, like, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, like, yes, then Mateusz Wojtanowski, I'm here, so it's great. And he also, like, follows uh, that list, and um, he asked about one guy, like, Vitali Sobaczynski. And Vitali wasn't there, because he was late. So he was late. Okay, so professor continued uh, about with his history, like briefly, about department, university. And when Vitaly showed up, like later, okay, so he like came, knocked the door, came, okay, so cool, everything's great. And sometime later, professor asked him, who is Vitaly Sobaczynski? And it's like, uh, excuse me, yes, it's me, I'm here, yes. And uh, he asked him, and where are you from? I'm from Ukraine. Oh, okay, cool, great. You're from Ukraine, okay. And my classmates are from India, super fantastic guys, and from Ukraine, from Azerbaijan. Okay, so professor was like, okay, so I, I continue my story. And like maybe in 15 minutes, he asked again, like, but he was pointing to one of my classmates from Azerbaijan, and he asked me, ask him, excuse me, I Vitaly Sobaczynski, right? And he was like, no. My name is Togrul. I am not. Oh, like, professor. And Vital Sabachinsky, he was there, and he was like, wow, what's going on? Like, I am here. Why he's asking that guy? Okay. So, um, after that, our meeting didn't uh, last long. So, it's like, was over. And uh, I think all of my classmates, they just, like, decided, okay, it's time to leave. It's time to leave. Okay. Let's go out. So, and I was like packing some of my stuff and, and what happened later, just not maybe later, but just afterwards, yeah? So professor, look at me, like, you know, that little child who when you like, for example, you come home, yeah, you're back home and you think, oh, something happened, something bad happened. And you see your child who's like looking at you like, hi, mommy, or hi, daddy. It's like, I'm so happy you're here, you're home. And you think like, oh, something happened, but you don't know yet. So you're gonna, you're about to ask uh, your your child. So professor, look at me with uh, these uh, eyes, with innocent child's eyes, and he asked me, you know what? Are you Vitaly Sobaczynski, right? After all of this time, at the after at the end of mi meeting, and I'm like, uh, no, I'm not. I'm Alex. Okay, so uh, this professor, he's really, he's really fantastic guy. Uh, one of his uh, favorite lines is, uh, guys, let me tell you a story. And also, as I, um, I see, uh, I think we all have our favorite lines in our life. So, uh, for example, this professor, um, favorite line is, let me tell a story, guys. So once uh, during uh, one of his lectures, so he told us that, oh, my dream is to dance, one day to dance with uh, Jennifer Lopez. It's like uh, he, he told us that his dream is dancing with uh, Jennifer Lopez. And he told us a story how uh, one of his friends uh, actually had a relationship with opera singer, female opera singer, and professor was shocked. He was like, wow, how it could be? Like you and uh, uh, opera singer? How it could be? How is it like, possible? Like, but uh, his, his friend said, okay, what, what's the problem? What's, what, what's like? She's still female, you know? She's a woman, like, yeah, she's a lady. But like, no, like, you, you are like, oh, I know you're like for all my life. I know you for all my life. And uh, she's opera singer. And like you and her, you know, like, what is the relationship? Oh, no, no. And um, so he told us, it's like, you know, he still 
has his hope that one day he would dance with uh, Jennifer Lopez, with J-Lo. Uh -huh. At least maybe one dance, but he told us like, guys, maybe who knows? Who knows? Is everything possible? <laughs> so um, I wish you no matter and despite the fact how many words you use, what you say, how you communicate with each other in every single day in your life. Uh, I believe that if you know someone and it's more important you know and you can tell about everything or maybe something very important words to someone in your life that I believe you are not alone and you have at least one reason to live and enjoy your life and if it comes to words just think about it I think we should be we should appreciate that uh, words are important and when we use them we can make simply make someone be happy and feel happy thank you very much and thank for words thank you